let's shift focus from defense and let's uh, talk about heritage foods. Uh, are there more price hikes on the cards? Uh, when is it that they see uh, margins actually improving? Uh, what really is the growth map going forward? We have with us uh, M. Uh, Sambaseva Rao, uh, the president at Heritage Foods, joining in on the show right now. Mr. Rao, great to have you today on ET Now. Let's start with talking about your peers because they have undertaken price hikes. Uh, wanted to understand whether or not uh, you also would be undertaking price hikes and what's the quantum and the product categories. Sure, thank you very much. Uh, we have also taken price hikes in the last few months. Uh, it has been a uh, very exceptional year in terms of price hikes happening more than once, twice uh, in the same season because of the increase of the procurement price from the farmers uh, multiple times. So we have been doing this uh, since uh, March and uh, depending on the requirement, depending on the price, type, price trends, we have been adjusting our sale prices and net realizations. There are some more uh, smaller categories uh, which we would be undertaking in select markets where are required. Okay, fair enough. Um, let's uh, get a move on then and also understand the outlook on your margins because they've continued to remain under pressure. Will this price hike be sufficient and uh, will that scale up your margins? Not really. We have not passed on entire price hike to the consumers yet. We have been doing in a staggered manner. In certain markets, we have almost done, and one or two markets will be doing in this month also. We are looking for you know, improvement in the quarter, as uh, traditionally, the October to February period, uh, milk prices tend to cool off a bit. That would help us in recovering our margins uh, to the required levels. So could you quantify how much more price hike could be in the offing, Mr. Rao? So we have very recently taken uh, 2 rupees per litre price hike on the milk, uh, except in a couple of territories uh, like Bangalore, we have not done yet. Some part of Maharashtra, we have not done yet. We may be doing towards the end of this month, uh, 2 rupees per litre, wherever we haven't done. On products, uh, we may do uh, on paneer uh, maybe another 10 rupees, 15 rupees now. Uh, we will be trying to hold on as much as possible, uh, hoping the milk prices would uh, rationalize uh, in this quarter so that we can uh, regain the margin spread. If the margins continue to be under pressure, will the price hike really suf uh, you know, be sufficient to protect your margins, considering Not you're fully. holding it back as well? Yeah, not fully. Uh, we, are, we are to wait for a couple of uh, weeks to see uh, how much more is required to increase in which market without uh, putting all the pressure on consumers in one go. And we are trying to balance our consumer uh, uh, you know, feelings as such. Inflation is high, uh, almost all the commodities, almost all the requirements. This being one of the essential commodities segment. We are trying to be more cautious in terms of price hikes and waiting for the rationalization to happen on both ends. Do you fear that uh, demand is going to get impaired uh, with the price hikes already undertaken and if furthermore are to come? Not really. As of now, particularly because of the festivities and opening up of economy, and uh, consumption centers like you know office spaces, uh, horeca segment. In general, there is a rise in demand for milk as well as all the milk products. And the more and more families are moving back to urban areas. Uh, as you must have noticed, most of our operations are in the metro cities and tier one uh, district headquarters, etc. Uh, people are coming back to work. All the schools are open. Most of the IT companies are also now. Uh, seeing uh, increasing trend of price back to work. The consumption is on rise uh, mainly because of the normalcy in economy, opening up of all the consumption centers across the markets we operate in. So the demand side, we don't see any challenge, though the consumers are feeling the pinch of the price hike, uh, which is not a normal thing for the dairy products uh, to have this trend in the past. Right now, the value-added products, that accounts for close to 27% of your total dairy revenue. 
Um, what is the expectation in terms of the contribution of growth from this segment going forward? Value added segment is growing well for us uh, year on year. Uh, it's in high 20s uh, over a period of time, except during the pandemic uh, years. And we are, we are focusing more on value added products to have some stable margin profile also in the years to come. Uh, we, we are targeting to reach around 40% in the next four years on the current 27, 28% level. Um, as a strategy, what is it that you uh, now are working at? I, I mean, I'm sure a large part of your time must be uh, currently on how to try and balance uh, price hikes along with margin and volume prote protection. But are you also looking at expanding your portfolio? Yes, that's a continuous process. Uh, we, we were having uh, close to 3% of our revenue coming from value-added products uh, 15 years back. Now we have reached 28%. We are expanding our portfolio, uh, increasing our range, and uh, placing in the most of the modern retail outlets, e-commerce channels. So we are trying to penetrate through all possible channels for uh, easy access to consumers and making the products available across the markets. Thanks much for taking time out and joining in and giving us a view on the overall um, outlook for the company. Let's get a more